Welcome back. In this video, we will see how to install loopback adapter in Windows 11. Loopback adapter is used to check the networking stack. If you have installed any web server and you wanted to test the web server within the Windows 11 and you don't have the network adapter installed, so you can configure the loopback adapter and test the networking stack for your web application or the web server. So let us install the loopback adapter. Click on the start, then select device manager, select network adapter. You will be able to see there is only one network adapter which is installed for this machine. We have to select action. In the action, you have an option to select add legacy hardware. Select the add legacy hardware, click on next. Select install the hardware that I manually select from a list. You will select this option. Click on next. And select the network adapter. You need to select the network adapter here. In this, in this list, select next. In the manufacturer, you need to select Microsoft and in the list, you need to select the loopback adapter. Select the loopback adapter, click on next. The loopback adapter will be installed. Click on finish. You will be able to see there is a loopback adapter which has been installed. So this is how you will be able to install the loopback adapter in Windows 11. If you wanted to configure the loopback adapter and set an IP address for the loopback adapter, you can select the network icon over here. Right click on the network icon, click on network and internet settings. You will get an option for advanced network settings. Select the advanced network settings. Now you will be able to see under network and internet. Under network and internet, you will be able to see Ethernet and this is the loopback adapter. So, this is the advanced network settings. Select the loopback adapter settings. You can either rename this adapter, I can rename this adapter as loopback. And if I wanted to edit the adapter and set the IP address, for the adapter, I can select this option. I can assign the IP address. By default, it will be assigned with the DHCP IP address. I will edit and I will choose manual and I will select IP address IPv4. Then I will enter 192.168.10.122. I will use the subnet mask as 255.255.0. I will save this IP address settings. Once I have saved the IP address settings, I will be able to ping this particular IP address. Ping 192.168.10.122. Now I am able to ping the IP address of 192.168.10.122. If you have not installed any network adapter on your laptop or your computer, you will be able to use the loopback adapter and configure the networking stack for your web server or for any other devices which you wanted to test. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the content, please share and subscribe. Thank you and take care.